Legends Assemble. Dottie Bato back with another VGC team breakdown and showcase, this time with Rion's Fun in the Sun team. You know, first breakdown for Bato of uh, 2024 and Regulation F. Happy New Year, everyone. I'm here to tell you that the F in Regulation F stands for Fun in the Sun, okay? We got Chi Yu here, Fluttermane, okay? Urshifu, evil Urshifu, dark Urshifu. Uh, familiar players in the old uh, Sun teams uh, of yesteryear. But now we welcome in the new additions of Whimsicott, Walking Wake, Raging Bolt. And that's one of the big reasons I picked this team is because we get to get get our hands on these uh, uh, these new creatures are at our disposal. <laughs> but before we get into it, I will say this. If you are not really into breakdowns, I've time stamped this video chaptered it so you can skip right ahead to the sample battles and if you're even more raring to go we got the uh team id rental code in the upper right of your screen also in the description below as well as a pokey paste that i have uh that i have uh transcribed from the rental team so with that out of the way let's get into the breakdown but before we break it down we always salute the creator shout out to Rion, total legend Rion. Uh, Rio posted this team using the hashtag. Uh, for those of you guys that aren't really familiar, there are these two hashtags that uh, that uh, Japanese players use to mark teams and team reports, uh, sample te rental teams and team reports. I believe is the distinction. Uh, so, uh, team report being an article that they've written or a blog post or something, sort of like going in depth with the team. But a lot of people just throw both on, and it's a good way to uh, to find new teams that uh uh fellow players fellow legends are cooking up okay so i found uh that's how i found rion's team uh shout out to rio there just say a pokemon doubles legend grinding in japan total total awesome person uh you'll see that i believe okay this is october what regulation was that was that e or was that d that had to be e right because you have ogre pond Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Either way, yes, it was season 10. And this was uh this tweet is just saying this was the first time they got triple digits on the uh, cartridge ladder. So kudos to them. But this isn't the team we're looking at. The team we're looking at, as we saw, was the Sun team. Fun in the Sun. Okay. They've posted the team as well. They actually had to repost. It's pretty funny in a little quote. Uh, because they had forgotten to uh use a mint on Raging Bolt. I think Raging Bolt had like a neutral nature. And they had to give it the uh, the modest nature. So pretty funny there. But the team was posted. I uh, I tweeted out my translated version. Rion was nice enough to acknowledge it, th uh, say thanks. And I, I just responded. He's a total legend. They are a total legend. Really appreciated that. And uh, and yeah, so this is the creator. Go ahead and follow them on Twitter. Please show them some love. Uh, and, you know, with the with the uh with the salutations out of the way let's break it down okay so uh seamless transition here boop we got it legends we got it no team report this time just uh just the uh pokey paste which i've gone ahead and uh made myself from the uh from the rental team and uh i've published that and shared that on twitter as well as in the description below so you can take a look at that if you want to use this team on showdown uh Let's get into it. This is going to be uh, no team report, just Botto breakdown. So first up, we got Whimsicott, new premier tailwind setter in the game. Okay, newly available in Regulation F. And uh, so you'll see the set, a lot of common sets you're going to see. Focus Sash being one of them and going max speed. Then you have Terra Ghost so you don't get faked out. Uh, and then rather than dump anything into the special attack they just went for full hp that way you're living some stuff you can get like especially hits that you resist you're getting like you, you know you could at least get a three hit ko four hit maybe 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 but uh but yes uh then moves tailwind get the speed control and don't forget this is a prankster mon baby okay so all your status moves are getting a priority plus one uh, you have Encore Antics here. Uh, let, we'll get to that in a second, but mainly you have Winsicott to set uh, set up your Tailwind, set up your Weather, uh, which every single Pokemon of this team is going to benefit from, it, like uh, actively and passively. Okay, you know all the past paradoxes have Protosynthesis, so their highest stat in the Sun is getting 1.3 or 1.5 boost uh, times boost if it's uh, if it's speed stat. So getting up the sun is very important here. And then you have Moonblast just for uh, some damage. I've seen other sets with uh, with Solar Beam, and that's kind of dependent on your weather too. So it is maybe a little more consistent to get the fairy, uh, huge fairy stab in uh, Moonblast. Uh, and then this Encore slot is the slot that is usually up for debate in the Whimsicott sets. Because, 
you have a lot of other things in the focus set you could go endeavor you could get um i guess you could also go dazzling glee maybe for the damaging move just to like make sure you're picking up sashes or or something uh you know whatever you wanted to do but this this slot we have encore i've seen people go for fake tears cotton guard for the or not cotton cotton guard sorry cotton spore should be down here i believe in doubles it targets both of your opponents and uh it'll lower their speed harshly so it's like double the scary face pretty gnarly move awesome awesome stuff that's to make sure you really are winning the tailwind mirror <laughs> uh but yes yeah, so that's basically uh what whimsicott is up to let's look at the spread we already did okay so we went bulk speed and uh and yeah so other kind of sets you might see on whimsicott like covert cloak is an option that way you don't get faked out then you can go terra dark and uh avoid prankster taunts uh or you could go mental herb and not get taunted at all so there's a lot of variety with sets on whimsicott i i do like going focus sash uh going but if you're gonna go focus sash definitely go max speed you know what i'm saying that way you could get you could get a status move off i mean maybe you even run ta taunt in this slot um but uh but that's not that's not the whimsicott we're working with okay we have encore which really gets into some great antics where you can catch people protecting and not expecting to be encored really get them uh in a in a loop and totally neutralize one of your opponent's pokemon so that's really awesome love to see it so part of the grass Firewater grass core as well low key okay we got chi yu walking wake it wins it <laughs> moving on let's see flutter bait booster energy flutter bait so this is going to activate protosynthesis whether you're in the sun or not looking at the spread this is booster speed flutter 190 and then not the bulkiest flutter okay they had to go 252 on a uh, special attack because they want flutter to hit pretty decently now that's the thing with booster energy flutters is that like uh and uh, we'll get to Chi Yu as well, kind of suffers from this. Is you're investing a lot in speed. If you have to invest in bulk, they're not hitting hard enough, you know? So really, it's hard. Uh, you know, a really common set is to give Flutter the bulk to uh, to live like surging strikes and stuff. And if you did that, uh, if you did that, you wouldn't be hitting hard at all. Uh, you'd probably be down here. I forget exactly what the benchmarks are. Uh, I could probably pull up another flutter main, but maybe the best you get would be like 20 or something EVs left. Uh, and either way, uh, 187 is letting you hit hard, and Chiyu is going to also help out with the Beads of Ruin. Another thing is that maybe this is EV4. I don't know exactly what's going on, and I haven't checked it myself, but it could possibly be that in the sun, maybe you're living in Surgery Strikes, but I wouldn't bank on that. This is a pretty fail flutter main, frail flutter main, uh, and it's an imprisoned set so this is how your team is going to beat trick room teams is you have trick room on flutter and you have imprisoned so imprisoned uh basically none of your opponent's mons can use any moves that you know so you totally lock them out of trick room is really awesome to catch opponents off guard with this and it's also uh pretty funny it's a uh it's kind of a flutter main an opposing flutter main shutdown button as well because you can get rid of their dazzling gleam and shadow ball and uh and and so you could totally uh catch them off guard you know with this choice scarf chi yu which we're going to get to in a second sometimes all you need is a a one turn lead and then you can just start knocking things out so if you trick a uh, flutter main into clicking something that they can't be using then uh then chi yu can really make a meal out of it and the other mons on your team as well and there you see we have the uh the terra type is fire and uh this is really nice actually uh one use case for for instance i mean a lot of fire types out there like Entei running rampant right now. Uh, and it, this gives you a, you know, a it's a nice defensive Terra type to resist, uh, resist incoming fire attacks, which are going to be prevalent on the Mons walling you. And also resist fairy moves from the Flutter, you know, looking at if you imprison a Flutter main, the last move they have left to click is Flutter, uh, Moon Blast, so you can resist that. Uh, also, if you're going up against Iron Crown Trick Room, which you would bring Flutter main to counter, then they can't go for that uh tachyon cutter and uh mess you up so very cool unique flutter flutter bait set i really love it as well uh let's slide down our preview on this side and keep keep the train moving keep the breakdown train moving so we got walking wake here walking wake terra steel defensive terra type and assault vest so really bulking this mon out i think this is a really clever set i know it was really popular putting uh the life orb and i think those are kind of like uh you know uh, everybody wants to try these Pokemon out and really test their firepower. Uh, Walking Wake Insane. Life Orb, if you went like 252 in the sun for the Protosynthesis boost on the special attack, and then Hydro Steam, which is getting 
boosted to 120 base power in the sun like it's picking up everything it's like it's nuts it's so nuts terra steel super important because you're getting the uh the fairy resistance and on uh closed team sheet best of one ladder uh really nice because your opponents are not going to expect this at all it's so satisfying to see your opponent click a fairy move into your terra steel and then you wreck them with the steel terra blast love it the uh the rest of the moves are the uh the damage moves that are going to are are turning out to be pretty common on uh walking wake sets hydro steam of course getting the boost in the sun and getting powered up by rain at the same time then you have flamethrower getting boosted by the sun as well don't even need the offensive terror type this is really picking up a lot of stuff weak to it then you have draco meteor just another huge power stab move uh so this set went max max um f funny enough when i was looking at the rental team uh the defense and special defense ivs weren't uh perfect on walking wake they're a little lower uh for the sake of you know labbing competitive use i made them uh perfect on the uh on the uh pokey paste team but uh just be aware of that if you're going to use the team on cartridge but either way uh they go max max just so you really fast deceptively fast i i you know when i first saw this mon i wasn't thinking like oh this one's 109 speed, dude. If you go timid 252, you're 177. That's a point slower than Ogre Pond. You know, it's like, uh, it's really crazy. And then I love how even it is if you go 252, you get 177 up here. So that way you can get the booster, uh, the the uh, the protosynthesis boost on uh, special attack and not speed. Really, really sick. And then you just go uh, a little bit into the HP because it has like decent bulk, decent bulk. And the assault vest is making up for the... Uh, little less than decent special defense but it's like it's all pretty decent bulk great typing and uh and yeah so that's uh that's how the walking wake lives okay and now we go over to urshifu choice banded evil urshifu terra dark dude your moves are not going to be <laughs> your opponents are not going to want to be hit by any of your moves dude your moves are not going to be leaving anything left of them okay a terra dark choice banded wicked blow <laughs> You're done. You're done. You're not even going to have time to pass gas, okay? Then you have to stab close combat. Sucker Punch, of course, and Poison Jab is really nice, especially Choice Banded, to uh, to pick stuff up, uh, like to pick some Fairy Mons up. So, of course, Urshifu is so strong with the ability, if you're not aware, hits through Protect. Beautiful thing. This Urshifu now, 252 on speed, 252 on attack, and they're going Adamant. Now, this is crazy. Adamant and Choice Band, that's 250 base attack. Okay, all your moves are coming off of and then you lean into it with the Terra Dark to boost further. Nothing wants to take this wicked blow, dude. Nothing. Uh, and this is going to be pretty common, I think. I, I know that there are a lot of uh, optimized Urshifus running around that maybe you live like a Moonblast after Terrestrialization for uh, for the Rapid Strikes. And, uh, you know, I've seen Terra Poison as well. You know, defensive uh, defensive Terrestrializations uh, becoming pretty more, uh, a lot more common on uh, Urshifus recently. Um... But I, I like the direction they went, uh, you know, on this team, a lot of hard hitting mons. And it makes sense, uh, you know, on some of them to just lean full offense. We've already seen, uh, you know, comp good compromises on both of these mons. You know, we went Assault Vest and Defensive Terra type, but we go Max Max here. Uh, and then with Urshavu, we're going all the way, all the way full tilt here on uh, on uh, on on attack adamant dude i i really like it and uh you're gonna be getting up that tailwind for sure to get the speed control that's what you're gonna rely on but you know the 149 still in a uh in a great tier uh of its own uh i believe you're speed tying the fastest golden go or do they only hit 139 uh not sure off the top of my head but it's neither here nor there you're at least tied the fastest gold to go i think i think you're definitely faster though uh, uh because many of them aren't even hitting their max speed either way uh but 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 let's move on <laughs> let's keep it going legends we got raging bolt another newbie to the format and super super common already won a regional uh this is terra electric safety goggles raging bolt this is how new it is doesn't even have a picture on uh on pokemon showdown yet now this is a more well-rounded um ev spread now unfortunately we don't have a team report the only thing i can tell you is the modest is to a bump right here where you're getting 196 to 198 uh and then rounded out bulk uh i'm not sure exact damage calcs uh that uh rion had in mind but i do know that this is still hitting hard i mean it's a huge base attack special attack stat 137 greater than flutter mains dude 198 base at 
you know, not even full investment. Think about that with uh, Beads of Ruin. Then you're going 20 just to creep other Raging Bolts, pretty much. Uh, you can get Thunderclaps off on them. Uh, but this one isn't... The, there. There is, like, a pretty uh, common calm common common calm mind set going around so uh this one drops it just to have the thunderbolt that way you have an electric move that can hit uh independent of uh sucker punch conditions as uh as we all know and now if you don't know now you know thunderclap uh it's basically a special attack electric type sucker punch uh that so it only has pro it it's a priority move but your opponent has to be attacking you and uh also uh, you need to be faster than them if they click a priority move too. Uh, so so you got Thunderclap, Draco Meteor, Huge Stab again, and Thunderbolt. I like the Thunderbolt because you know maybe Urshavu can 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 hit uh can hit those mons, but uh you know if you're uh backed into a corner and you need something to pick up the water type uh, Pokemon on your opponent's side, you need this electric type moves. You need it and. Uh, the item here is really nice having the safety goggles. I really like it because it totally nullifies your opponent's Amoongus. Uh, you have no taunt anywhere on this team. So having the uh, the safety goggles uh, Raging Bolt is really nice because your opponent can bring in Amoongus thinking they're going to uh, disrupt you. And then you can just totally, uh, uh, you know, go to town on their uh, partners, on the, on the Amoongus's partner and just leave it on an island. So really nice. Terra Electric. Gets rid of the dragon typing, so it is kind of like defensively in that where you lose your fairy and like ice weakness, and then uh, offensively and it's boosting boosting uh, your electric moves even further. Um, but all right, last up, one of the stars of the show, the star of the team, the fish. The fish is back. Okay, choice scarf. Now this is a set that um, I explored as well, um, and uh, I think that the Choice Scarf is really a uh, clever item to be putting on Chiyu nowadays. Um, I do have concerns, but we'll get to those in a second. Uh, let's take a look at, let's analyze this spread. Right now we have Terra Ghost, so gives you immunities to the fighting moves and normal moves. You can't get faked out. Really, really nice. If your opponent wants to click like a drained punch or a close combat on you, boom, turn the tables on them. So the Choice Scarf boosting your speed by one and a half, but you can only pick the first move. Beads of Ruin. Uh, every other Pokemon on the field is having their special defense multiplied by three quarters. So totally, uh, totally bashing these Pokemon, nerfing them. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know what to say. The nerf, debuff. Uh, you're, you're wrecking them on the specially defensive end and bo bolstering a lot of your teammates' offense with that. So super cool. Uh, the set they went with was Snarl, Heat Wave, Dark Pulse, and Terra Blast. So Terra Blast, a great like a uh, sort of neutral move to hit things that resist you and your opponent th might think you don't have the coverage for that because even a normal special Terra Blast is hitting pretty hard from Chiyu with the Beads of Ruin and it's it's base special attack, you know? Uh, and then if you go Terra Ghost, you're getting stab on it too, you know? It's uh, it's pretty clever. It's a, it's a pretty clever move to include here in a slot where you might see like overheat. Um, but again, some well-rounded, uh, decent bulk going full speed full speed ahead on the uh on the chi Yu. and this is just making sure you outspeed a lot of things like uh like uh maybe uh fellow scarf users in uh in uh urshifus and things and uh believe me in the sun even with a fire move you can hit urshifus pretty freaking hard uh uh rapid strike urshifus i should say pretty hard it's uh pretty deceiving but either way uh you're you're just outspeeding a lot of other uh scarf users just making sure you're as fast as possible is uh really nice here and uh and then you can you get some decent special attack here 173 of course the effective number is much higher considering beads of ruin but then you get a little bit of bulk here uh when you defensively terrestrialize you're definitely uh you're 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 living a lot of things that your opponent might think they're going to kill you with uh super effective nice thing to dodge with the Ter terra ghost as well as extreme speed um but yes, Legends, that is the breakdown. But uh, before we get into it, I want to say this team is is pretty hyper offensive and uh, it is kind of a tightrope to walk. There are definitely when you're working with a team like this, you want to make sure that like it's a balance between the 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 uh, the Urshifus where you're going full adamant, Choice Bay and Terra Dark and the Chi Yus where you're sacrificing the investment, perhaps uh to go to go real fast get a little bit of bulk and uh make your team a little well well rounded you don't have the nuke move in uh overheat you know that's one thing i want to bring up maybe uh you want to 
maybe you want to lean into more like uh i can position well enough to afford a terra uh a terra fire a terra stellar on uh on this chiyu and then i can maybe i want to put overheat on but uh but another thing to worry about overheat and heat wave as well 90 percent accurate overheat 90 percent accurate these moves are more inconsistent than you think i i would like to say that this uh this 90 percent expected uh expected accuracy is effectively lower we've all had those moments tilting moments on ladder where we uh lose a game because of a move even snarl 95 percent. that five percent comes up a lot more than five percent you know what i'm saying it always feels like it so just be careful when using teams like that and going that way. I think that uh, Rion did a uh, excellent job trying to balance that consideration with the uh, with um, with more consistency in the move sets and the EV spread. So kudos to Rion. I think they put together an awesome team, and I had a lot of fun with it. One more time, let's pull up their uh, their Twitter page. Boop, 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 boop. There's Rion. Uh, their uh, Twitter will be in the description below. Uh, please shoot them the follow and check them out on Twitter. Check out the teams they've made. And uh, and yeah, try this one out for yourself with the uh, the rental and paste uh, in the description below. But all right, breakdown time is done, Legends. And you know what that means. It's time for some battle. Okay. So we're going to get the sunny day off just in case the sunny day can come out. Uh, and we are going to... I think this is what we're, we go. Sunny Day Chi Yu. I think it is. I think it is. Uh, and then... Walking Wake. And then... Scary to bring Flutter here in the face of uh, Ursaluna and Metagross. I feel bad. Flutter hasn't come yet. Flutter hasn't come, uh, come to a battle yet. Uh... And I think we bring Urshifu. I'm loving Urshifu right now. I have to. I think we bring Urshifu. Let's see now. Can't wait for them to drop Kieran 4. <laughs> Kieran 4 loading. Player battles in Pokemon always scare me. They are a scary thing. Good luck. I'm fun my opponent with a shiny Deli Bird. Good, dude, they are a scary thing. Save to join. They are a scary thing. Oh, that's an awesome boss, bro. Okay. So this is what we came for. This is what we came for. We came to uh, to set the sun. We came to set the sun. This music does go off. Setting the sun. See, and this is a, okay. And this is the point that I was making on this team is that uh, with the choice scarf to you, you can't. I feel like the, the defensive tear is really hard to afford. You need to be Terra Fire to make sure we pick up like Baxcalibur. You know what I mean? So uh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go for the heat wave and boost back Scalibur. Uh, I don't. I don't think it really matters. Um, I'm just gonna go for it. But we gotta go Sunny Day. Make sure they don't get an Aurora Veil off. They're gonna Terrestrialize. They're gonna go Terra Water on on Nine Tails. No, what are they going for? They're going Terra Ghost. I wish I did a uh, Dark Pulse. <laughs> That's okay because our Sucker Punch beats that back Scalibur now. Really, I want to make sure that we pick up. Uh, I really want to pick up that Nine Tails. So uh, here we go. We get the Sunny Day. We're going for the Heat Wave to pick up Nine Tails. It doesn't see with Terra Fire. We would have picked up back Scalibur there, and that's that is that's the way the news goes, dude. It's uh, it's really harsh. They go for the Icicle Spear. Gonna pick up Winsicott. That's okay. We don't get. We do not get our, uh, we don't get our, uh, I'm trying to speak. We don't get our Tailwind up, but, okay, let's see who we bring in now. Uh, we can bring in, this definitely takes care of Baxcalibur. Um, what they have on the other side, I do not know, but uh, it's scary, it's scary to bring in. I wish they would let you see your opponent's team while you're in this screen. You can see it over there. Uh, I'm gonna bring Urshifu. Let's see. You get that sweet green outfit, dude. It was all in the first DLC. They make you. Uh, they make you get into it. It was really, really sick. Okay. 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 All right. So uh, they're making us do it. <clears throat> They're making us do it. They're making us sucker punch here. And, uh, and they're making us sucker punch and go for the heat wave. 
because we have to take care of uh, Bax. I do not want that uh, that Tailwind uh, coming out. Uh, they force you in and apparently people just never bothered to change. <laughs> yeah, Demon has been getting on my case. He's like, get out of that freaking outfit. Single target heat wave in the Sun Tornadoes is going down, baby. Oh, that's so funny, Demon. <laughs> Demon hates it. He's trying to get me to change it. Demon, okay. After this battle, we'll change it, all right? We will change. And they've, they've already blown the Terra, so Sucker Punch is going to be really nice here, and the Heat Wave is going to be really nice here. I think we won this one. Battle was canceled. GG respect to my opponent. Good game. Good game, Legend. Super well played. Mateo is rocking the, uh, the Tornadus, uh, Lando, Chen Pao stuff. Okay, okay, okay. So this is, uh... This is a more common core that we've been seeing, not just tonight, but in general in the early stages of Reg F. Lando Incarnate, uh, rising up, uh, rising up to, uh, to counter Raging Bolt. Makes it hard to bring Raging Bolt, uh, to these games. But, Ogre Pond also making it tough for Walking Wake. You really have to position well. Uh, but, let's see what we can do here. Uh, cause basically... Basically, we do want to pick up Tornadus, is the thing. We do want to pick up Tornadus. And it makes it hard to pick. Uh, cause... What we can do is we can go Whimsicott and Urshifu. And we can have... I think we need Walking Wake here. And then the question is, do we bring Chiyu, do we bring Flutter? I think we have to bring Chiyu. One other thing that, uh, uh, he says simply delete your nose. I'm sorry, guys, I'm so stuffed up. The, uh, uh, changes that I would maybe make to this Chiyu set are the, uh, not having overheat is tough, because you could get, like, a turn one nuke and really get ahead, but... I understand weighing, weighing things differently. Good luck, have fun to my opponent, Mateo, with the with the red Gyarados in the back. I love that. Hell yeah. All right. So here's what we're going to do. I think what I do turn one is... Okay, so it is a little tough here. We're gonna have to go Tailwind and go for the, uh, go for the Wicked Blow on Entei. Sword of Ruin and Choice Band. I don't. I'm not gonna blow Terrestrialization. They are going to blow it though. They really want to pick up Urshifu. And they might. They might pick it up. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Let's see. Do they pick up Urshifu? I have a not even close! What the heck? What the heck? Not even close! Oh my god, what were we worried about? <laughs> That's gonna pick up, baby! <laughs> oh my goodness, alright. So our opponent is already down to terrestrialization, which is a beautiful thing. We go for the Ice Spinner onto a Whimsicott, but we do have the Focus Sash to live through it. We do have the Focus Sash to live through it. And uh, with our Tailwind up. Let's see, let's see. Tornadus comes out with... Uh, what I'm going to do is go for a... I think I, I'm going to go for a, uh, a sunny day. And I'm going to go for a... Do I go Terra Dark? Wicked Blow on Tornadus to pick up. I don't know if I do just yet. I'm gonna just go Wicked Blow on Tornadus. Get the Sunny Day off. See if they match Tailwind. They go for the Sucker Punch. You're gonna do not a jack, okay, buddy? Come on. Funny how Tornadus is moving second to last here. This is making use of the Sword of Ruin and Choice Band, dude. <laughs> Didn't need to go Terra Dark, dude. <laughs> I love this. Because against, uh, against, um, against Chen Pao now, uh, this is going to be tough. This is going to be tough here. Let's see. Booster special. Okay. They do have Tailwind, though. Uh, we are going to, 
We can encore Chen Pao. Really what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with Moonblast here. And I'm just gonna go Wicked Blow here just to do it. I'm okay with Urshifu uh, dropping. That is totally fine, dude. Get the Moonblast on Chen Pao. They go for the Dazzling. Totally fine. They, 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 the reason that they Sucker Punch with Chen Pao, well, that doesn't make sense. My Sucker Punch still could come out against Flutter. They didn't realize that we were banded. They thought maybe we were trying to Sucker Chen Pao, so they were constantly protecting that. Uh, but here's the thing is we have Choice Scarf in the sun right now, Chi Yu. So this is gonna get really crazy here. Because what we do now is we go Terra Steel, Terra Blast onto, uh, onto Flutter and the Heat Wave should definitely pick up. I mean, we could even go, yeah. Honestly, if I go Terra Steel, yeah. Then we go Terra Blast here. It's honestly the same exact thing as Hydro Steam. It doesn't really matter, uh, but we go for the Heat Wave. Terra Steel though is gonna feed families. And Chi Yu should pick up both things with the Heat, or uh, definitely picks up Chi Chen Pao. We just need to make sure that we hit. This is the thing that always makes me nervous about clicking Heat Wave, 90%. Still always a 10% chance you can miss. <laughs> oh my gosh. Nikki B is in here. I'm sorry, I haven't been looking at chat. 301, that's right. We hit 300 followers, baby. And my opponent was not expecting the 301 speed. <laughs> the speed stat on the on Chi Yu like that. He had Choice Scarf Legends. Choice Scarf able to pick up. And now the Steel Terra Blast coming to pick up Flutter and close out the match. That is why we held Terra, baby. That is why we held Terra. Looking mods here, funny looking mon singular, I should say, in Delibird. Bird. I'm not sure. It's throwing me for a loop here. I'm not sure what what exactly to do, but um, but I think I'm going to lead. Uh, I'm gonna lead this. Bring in Raging Bolt, and then uh, we're gonna bring Chi Yu. I almost want to leave Urshifu, but uh, I think Urshifu might be a move here. I think Urshifu's a move here. Yeah. This team, uh... Oh, dude! <laughs> that is awesome. Arceus with the world. That is sick. The shiny Arceus. The clutch new outfits here. Delibird and Ensign. Let us see what is happening. The Intimidate comes out. Uh, I really am going to just go for the Wicked Blow. I think they're going to fake out that slot. Um, I don't think we need to Tailwind. I'm not getting the Sunny Day off yet. I'm just going to go Moonblast onto the Deli Bird. We're going to save... Uh... Oh, they both have faked out. What? They both had fake out. And it goes for a parting shot. Okay. Well, as long as we're clicking Wicked Blow, I don't mind that at all. Let's see this fake out. The fake out pressure. Rillaboom comes out. Okay. Well, here's what we do now. We are going to go for the Encore onto Deli Bird and the Wicked Blow onto Deli Bird. That way, whichever one, whoever they don't fake out, we're going to pick up. I could definitely see a fake out from Rillaboom coming out. I'm not sure. And if they don't, then it leaves Deli Bird useless. So I'm curious to see who they went for. I assume Urshifu. But this is where Wicked Blow is really nice. Uh, we could blow a really nice, uh, you know, little cheat code against Intimidate because you're always critting. <laughs> you're always critting. Thank God on the Whimsicott, okay? That's fine with me because uh, we're going to pick up uh, Deli here with the Whimsicott. Boom. Love it.
they think I'm switching out, they're out of their board. You are out of your board. Keep intimidating me, bro. Keep intimidating. All right, we're gonna go for the wicked blow on Cirilla Boom. Uh, yeah, let's go for the wicked blow on Cirilla Boom. We can go Terra Dark. Uh, we can go Terra Dark. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't see the harm in that. Let's go Terra Dark. Get the wicked blow here. And uh, if not, it will be Encored into Fake Out. So. That's our play here. Big scary Urshifu. Let's see. Got him. Let's hustle. You must do an odd four. Doesn't matter though. <laughs> it doesn't matter. All right. Oh, what did their uh, Insid go for? Flare Blitz on the Whimsicott. All right, respect. Go for it. That's all good in my book. Take that recoil damage. So, uh, yeah, I gotta bring in uh, Raging Bolt now. Yeah, dude, that Pokeball throw is so funny. Oh my god. I love that Rapid Strike Urshifu has enough natural bolt to survive a grassy glide off reel without the Miracle Seed. That's crazy. Hell yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we go for this here. Wicked Blow onto, uh... We go for the Wicked Blow onto Iron Boulder, and I think we just go for Protect. Because I want to know what Iron Boulder's, uh... If it gets close combat, that's pretty tough. What's the response here? Terra what? Terra Grass. Okay. Terra Grass. Let's see how we did. Protection. They use Mighty Clean. Big hit. But we hit bigger, baby. Intimidate Cycle Urshifu all you want, baby. That Wicked Blow is hitting the same. Oh, that's an awesome animation. <laughs> I've never seen that before. I haven't played against... Uh, I don't think I've played against... <laughs> that's really funny. Oh, they're finally done. They're finally tired of... Uh, <laughs> they're finally tired of, uh, of Urshifu. Love it. All right. The Thunderbolt was pretty free there. He could have gone for that. And now we bring in the Chi Yu. So we're gonna Thunderbolt instant. As well as just give it a heat wave. Nothing is gonna be very effective, so let's let's give it the Thunderbolt. That's fine. Is it berry? No, it's not citrus berry. Thunderbolt finishes with the beads of ruin. There we go! Raging Bolt making money for us, baby! Hell yeah! Adios. And also Porygon. Ah, we have to respect the Porygon. I think they bring Porygon. All right, I'm going Flutter. Urshifu again. That's such a strong lead I feel into these kind of archetypes. And I want to go Whimsicott. Amoongus makes me want those safety goggles. Amoongus really makes me want the safety goggles. However, Walking Wake, not as bad, not not bad either. Because we are, uh, it's tough because we do love Chiyu around here. We do love Chiyu. Chiyu a little harsh to bring. I feel like we need something for, we need something for Amoongus. And it might be the safety goggles here. The other option would be to bring Walking Wake, but that also just uh, results in the offensive matchup versus the rest of their team. I'm bringing Raging Bolt. We're going to send it. I want to see the Bolt. 
I want to see the bolt. Getting craft supplies for a gift. Oh, can you tell us what the gift is, possums? Can you go into details? Can you go into details on what this gift is? What it could be? Demon of Slog hasn't been here, but I want to say thank you again to Demon of Slog for cheering the 550 bits. Good luck, have fun to my opponent. 550 bits earlier tonight, just because uh, he wanted us to change our outfit and haircut so bad. <laughs> Porygon 2 comes out. And I love to see it. So let's see, the Intimidate comes out. We're just gonna go in prison. Love it, because we're immune to the fake out as well. So let's see what we are gonna do. Speed item. All right, we're gonna go in prison and then we are gonna go, I almost just wanna go close combat. I, I wanna send it close combat on instant. Uh. But I feel like Wicked Blow is always the move. We're gonna take care of Insin with uh, Raging Bolt, and we can always switch if we need to. Let's get the Wicked Blow off here. Oh, you gotta, let's get rid of this uh, Porygon. They didn't go for it, okay. Big damage with Wicked Blow. So now it doesn't matter because, well, they're definitely gonna go for the Trick Room, right? But um, it doesn't matter. Uh, sorry, what was I gonna say? They didn't fake anyone out. They did parting shot. That's really nice. That's really nice for us. Bring in Mudra. Okay. So now we have a call to make. We go for the dazzling gleam. And do we just keep? Uh, uh, do we go for more wicked blood? Do we take care of Porygon? I think. Well, we have to Wicked Blow here. Do they have the Shell Armor? I wonder if they have sh That's an ability on uh, Gudra, right? Uh, let's go for the Wicked Blow here. They withdraw Porygon 2. Okay. Let's see. What comes out? Ensign? See a heavy slam? Oh, I should have gone Fire Terrestrialization. We on Fire Terra on Fluttermane. I'm such a fool. They go Fairy. They go Fairy. Okay. We have our Poison Jab to deal with that, but on another turn. Let's start getting some damage there. Heavy Slam comes out. Should have gone Fire Terrestrialization. Missed it. I missed it, guys. Valentine's Day gift for who? For who? For who? Let us know. Let us know. Please, please, please. Please let us know. Uh, I want to go... Yeah. Let's bring out... Raging Bolt. That Wicked Blow did some good damage, too. Uh, so... I do want to go Terra Electric Thunderbolt here would be pretty crazy. And then just getting a Wicked Blow off here is also pretty nice. That instant is so low. Ooh, okay. Bring out Amoongus. Terra Electric, boogie, boogie, boogie. <laughs> Let's see how we do. Fake out on the Ursh. All right. I'm all right with this. Picking up Ensign is very great for me. Oh, we Thunderbolt there. What was I cooking? <laughs> what was I cooking, guys? I'm sorry. Uh, all right. Here's what we do. We got Thunderbolt here. Whatever is in that slot is not going to like it. And then... Uh, we could honestly go for the Wicked Blow onto the Amoongus and try and pick it up, but there's no reason to play like that. I feel like I, I'm just going to preserve our Shifu. Here, we'll bring in uh, Whimsicott. Because I want to see them go for a Rage Powder or a Spore. I really want to see them go for a Rage Powder or a Spore. And now with Whimsicott, what's nice is we can get up our Sunny Day. 
T-Bolt. Nice. Spore. They go for Spore. And now we can, what we can do is we can just Encore that. Who do they bring out? Doesn't really matter. Did they try to spore Winsicott? Come on, Bado, you guess. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Thunderbolt in the sun. Feed families, Raging Bolt. Feed families, Raging Bolt. We love to see you. We love to see you cook, Raging Bolt. Safety goggles, Roar Raging Bolt, feeding families, come on. This Thunderbolt should definitely pick up. Please, 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 please. Rage Powder. <laughs> Let's hustle! <laughs> oh, like old man Sammy said, I'm smiling like the devil right now. They went to spore the Urshabu slot, hit Whimsicott. They don't know that Raging Bolt has safety goggles. And this is it. Come on, big Thunderbolt in the sun. Porygon is so It's not even close! It's not even close! Whimsicott is on, or Amoongus is on an island right now. <laughs> what will they do? What can they do? Let's go for it. We need more Thunderbolts over there. And we need, uh... Do we just Encore it? Or do we go for the Moon Blasts? Let's go. Oh, yeah. Let's encore it. That way it doesn't do pollen puffs. No pollen puffs here, please. Rage powder. Keep doing rage powder. Keep doing rage powder. Love it. I love the rage powders. Nice. One more hit. Citrus. Ah, okay. Maybe more than one hit. <laughs> Maybe more than one hit. They go for the Heavy Slave on Whimsicott. We live on one. We live on one, sir. Nice. And Amoongus' uh, turn has to fail because the Rage Powder is a plus two move. And they use it at the end. Uh, it goes with their original uh, move's priority. So, Encore into that. We love to see it. And we're going to go for the Moon Blast now here. Battle is canceled. GG and Super Bowl played to my opponent. We had one wish at 11-11. That was to make Raging Bolt cook. And we did it. We did it, baby. Raging Bull. Our best, mateys.